We've been married for 51 years. 54 years. We're celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary this year. Friday the 13th turned out to be the luckiest day of my life. I think what I love the most about Bruce is he's very kind. She's a good cook. Serene. <laughs> that does She's a very compassionate person. She is truly the person I always wanted to be. I love her. <laughs> she, is, she is the epitome of serenity. Oh, one surprise to me about marriage after all these years has been what a joy it is at this stage. I didn't know that it would be that wonderful again as it was, you know, before we had all these little screaming memes. Well, it's not easy. Well, and the biggest And if problem, anybody thinks that you're going to be on your honeymoon for 51 years, it's ridiculous. Sometimes the tunnel's pretty long. Yeah, and dark. Well, it has been an enjoyable challenge <laughs> uh, because I've been introduced into a culture that I was just totally ignorant of. It was very hard for I know yeah. that. What but hurt I, so much? You. <laughs> I think I had to have been like in my 30s or early 40s. I just thought, this is it? This isn't, this isn't fun. It didn't matter to me that Jim wasn't a member of the church because I loved him very much. And I thought if I only live with him for this time only, then that was what I would be happy with. But a couple of years later when our children started to come along, I realized that was not true. That I wanted to be with my children and him forever. Really, the only reason it worked uh, in those early years is we both loved the Lord and we taught our children to love the Lord. The secret to anything, I think, holding to the rod. If you hold to the rod and don't give up when things are hard, you, there's always a way through. President Hinckley always said it, that, that this will pass and that things will get better. And things always do get better. So you have to be patient and loving and see where it goes. Yeah. You're going to have ups and downs, and but it's worth it. You cannot change someone to fit the mold you want them to be. I just respect his space and he respect my space. Love, love him the way he is. Be sure to buy two tubes of toothpaste. Uh. Well, I will say you are the love of my life. And I'm so grateful that we have stuck it out this long and I see us together another gazillion or Google. Do you say Google now? She's my babe. And I love you. And I love the fact that I'm going to have you by my side forever. I love him so much. I love being with him. How could you not kiss? Yeah. <laughs>